Hi, I'm Jana, and this is a, a Real Mom car tour from the LA Auto Show, where Kia just revealed in the global premiere the 2026 heavily refreshed, we might even could say redesigned, Sportage with new powertrain options like a hybrid, a plug-in hybrid, and a regular all ice engine. So you're gonna have really great MPG, and I will come back and update this post once I get those numbers. If you're new here, I'm glad you found me. Hi, I'm Jana, and I give real mom car tours. I am a boy mom, auto enthusiast, and I'm an Aquarius, which means my life and sometimes these tours are a little bit chaotic, but they are fun. So buckle up and let's get back to it. What I'm standing in front of is a plug-in hybrid. I don't have that many specs because Kia did not share that many specs. We know that it'll go on sale next year. We know that it has a heavily refreshed front grille and that we have a different powertrain option for 2026 with that plug-in hybrid. But I want you to see the design and how gorgeous it is because with Hyundai, the sister company, being so competitive, this segment, this small SUV size segment has gotten so competitive. This is the type of vehicle that I would buy if I had maybe one child. That doesn't mean it wouldn't work if you had two, but I like a bigger, I like to spread out and I have a tall husband, big kids, all that. You don't care about that. The point is, this is a great vehicle that's about the size to me, I would compare it to like the RAV4. So you can see the front end, you have this high gloss block, a really interesting, just like Hyundai, they're using that geometric, like the square, the cube stacks, really bold LEDs, which I think look great. And I love this matte paint color. You have the gloss black accents that go all the way around. And these wheels, these wheels are so Kia. I don't know what to say about these, to be honest with you, because it's not the ones I would have picked personally, but they look good on this car. I think it was the right choice for this. They are gloss black. Don't know the size right now. I'm gonna reach out to the folks at Kia and see if they can give me a little bit more information about this one. Pretty little design element here. Can you see that? Your roof rails up top. And I wanna look at the back of the, this is the X line, which is gonna give you those black accents. It's gonna give you the black badging, probably this flat matte paint. You got a wiper hidden under here, which I think most people are a pretty big fan of. A nice spoiler up top. And let's see, this has been hit or miss at the auto show on what is powered enough that you can get in it. But we're in there, baby. Go us. Okay. I'm going to give you, there's people all in these videos because auto show. You have a really huge storage area back here, so you should not need to lay your second row down. If you wanted to, though, you can do it. I say second row, I should say back seat because you will not get a third row in the Sportage. If you don't want to lay the second row down, you would pull that, but the headrest is too tall, so it didn't go all the way flat, but it should. You have the mobility kit under here, and I would assume this is where all your, your plug-in cables and stuff would be stored. I'm interested to find out, and I will put a note if I can find the numbers of how much range you're gonna have on a full charge for the plug-in part. Think about a plug-in hybrid is, if it gives you, let's call it 30, 35 miles of range, that's my entire daily drive. So if I could use back and forth the carpool, back and forth to do an errand, I would just probably be at 30 miles. We stay in our bubble in Raleigh. So I wouldn't have to switch over to gas power that often until I go further out. But you could just plug it in at home and you normally get like one mile of range per hour of charge. That's kind of a standard on plug-in hybrids. This may be a little bit different, a little bit more advanced. Once I know more, you will know more, but right now we're just gonna keep looking. Got a button up top, power button up top. There's people literally everywhere. So I'm gonna bring you to the side. We're gonna look in the back seat because I want you to see how this compares to other SUVs in the segment. As you can see from how that thing fell forward, as you can see from how this thing fell forward, it is on a 60-40 split. Really pretty, really pretty saddle covered seats that feel synthetic to me, but I've gotten so bad at knowing what the heck I'm feeling sometimes because the new synthetic feels almost just like leather. 
You have a device holder in these headrests, which is cool and really great for families because the technology becomes obsolete sometimes really quickly. And the headrest built-in infotainment is an expensive upcharge and it's kind of a pain in the butt. So I love the fact that they could take their own iPads or their own headphones or whatever and let it be. You have a really pretty pano roof. I have good headroom and I am comfortable. And I think these seats recline, they do, which I like. You have cup holders under this armrest, two sets of lower latches and three top tethers for your car seat installation. You have vents here, I'll bring you in and show you that. Here's what it looks like with my leg room up close. Your vents are here, storage down here, a small place for a bottle or cup. I don't think I would put a cup there, but that's what that is, which is why I showed you the ones under here. I like that we have a place to put charging cords or whatever devices. If you're charging here, wrap that cord, stick it down in there. Same for plugging in devices, you guys. This would clip right in there. And this is what your front seat and area looks like. Very similar to the new design that Hyundai is also using. And you probably know they are sister companies. So what do you think so far? Do you like this saddle brown color? I don't, but so many people are using it. Must be popular. Notice this pretty door. You have multiple, you have this layered look with the black, this kind of metally, and then a continuation of the saddle, soft place for your arm right there. You have a Harman Kardon audio system. I'm gonna pop into the front seat so you can see how that looks. This feels better than expected. The new Sportage. We've got heated and ventilated power adjusting seats with lumbar. You have a really sporty new design steering wheel. Two cup holders here that are the exact same ones in my Hyundai as they have in my Hyundai Palisade. You have a heated steering wheel and this is where you control your seat, heated and ventilation. You have, I'm just gonna bring you in because I want you to see it from this angle. Here you can see the shape of the steering wheel which is a little flat on the bottom and the top. Fully a one piece display where you have your gauge cluster here and your color touch screen over here. Plenty of places to charge with a wireless charging pad. These are the cup holders that I was telling you about. If you haven't seen my Hyundai Palisade video, go watch it, it's awesome. Here's your EV HEV button there. Camera view, auto hold, which I call a fast food button. You have another 12 volt plug under here. Good storage, more storage here. Really pretty ambient lighting. That's how you open up the shade on your sunroof. I don't think I can do it right now. I don't, no, no camera in the rearview mirror. It does have a button for Kia Connect. And that's about it until I get more specs memory seating you can open your back end from here i'd love to know if it had like a proximity sensor so what do you think of the brand new redesigned 2026 kia sportage i think it's really sporty and cute especially for the price point that it's probably going to start at since this is a 2026 we probably will not see it until much later next year but I'll be eager to share more information when I have it. If you like this brand of chaos and you wanna see more first looks, first drives, and that sort of thing, you can like, subscribe, hit the notifications on YouTube. You can also find me all over social media, TikTok and Instagram, and at realmomcartours.com. So thanks for watching.